Hello, my name is Alex. I'm a final year electrical engineering student at Loughborough University. I'm here right now in the library because my dorm room is absolutely atrocious. And today I'm going to tell you all about how my life as an engineering student looks like, how the workload looks like, how my time is split throughout the whole week. I'm gonna tell you all about it, so stay tuned. So firstly, let's talk about the individual project. This is the most important thing you're going to do throughout your final year. It's worth 33% of my whole final year mark. One thing, kind of, but this one assignment that I have is worth 33% in total, which is massive, by the way. And I'm going to tell you why it's so important, why it's going to be important to you, uh, how it looks like, how the selection process of getting your individual project looks like, what I'm doing right now. Let's get it. So when you start your final year of university, you get an email and they're like, cool, you need to pick your final year projects. Most likely you're going to get a massive database with list of professors and the list of proposed projects that they want you to do. And you pick from the list, you put like five, six, seven, eight, depending on your uni and you send it off. And with a roll of a dice, you get one of the projects. Then you get your project and you meet with a supervisor and then you basically put a stamp in and say, this is what I'm doing, let's go. I am doing a project of the title of simulating the airflow of the lungs using graph neural networks. It's a mouthful and I have no idea what I'm doing right now with it. I feel like that's expected in the second, third week. Uh, so hopefully, otherwise I'm absolutely screwed. Uh, but I've had two meetings with my uh, supervisors. I meet with him every single week uh, on a Wednesday and we discuss my progress, what I've done, what I haven't done, what I don't understand. I'm also lucky as I have a PhD student which is doing research in a similar field to me. Uh, she's doing physics informed graph neural networks for predicting lung stuff as well. So I can also ask questions for her. That's something I am really, very appreciative of because not every student gets to have that. This is worth 33%. There's a massive report I need to do. I need to do a literature review, which I'm doing right now. You have to, you know, it's just, it, it's kind of like going through writing a research paper, but obviously it's dimmed down because you're only an undergraduate student. And other than that, I would say pick something you really want to do because you have to be super motivated because you're going to be working hours and hours and hours on a Sunday at 7 p.m. What am I talking about? Midnight. I completely lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Now let's talk about my modules. Uh, this year, in my first semester, I'm doing three modules. One is 20 credits and the other two are 10 credits. The first one, which is the 20 credit module, is the embedded system design and implementation. Uh, this is a C++ module with fancy drawings. That's kind of how I see it. It's really hard because I don't know C++. Uh, what else? It's 40% exam, 60% coursework, which is the first time I've had a module which is majority coursework. So that's that's a very interesting difference between the, your final year and your first and second year. I think first and second year electrical engineering is very theory based, a lot of mathematics, uh, a lot of electronics, a lot of exams. Now it's a bit different, there's much more coursework. So I have two courseworks for that embedded system design and I'm getting my first coursework on a Monday, week four. So we'll see how it goes. My next module is control. Control is 60% exam, 40% coursework in MATLAB. It's like a Simulink module, I imagine, also getting it on Monday. Monday is going to be a long day for me. I can't actually tell the difference between last year's control and this year's control other than everything's inside of a matrix. That's kind of how I explain fine, like advanced control. Everything's in matrices, so you can do many things at once. My final module is engineering management, which actually is a bunch of finance, a bunch of law, a bunch of, a bunch of business crammed into this 10 credit module one exam you get it or you don't it's it's pretty demanding because there's an extreme amount of information uh, especially for the engineering students that are not used to getting information about the law other things like that yeah it's it's very odd however 
if you go to the university in the UK, every single good uni will have some sort of management module. It's just a requirement. It's just how it is, uh, unfortunately. However, it's important because all of us want to be CEOs, want to be entrepreneurs. We want to make businesses and you need to know how to make a balance sheet. <laughs> That's basically what our professor uh, told us. You want to be a CEO, you want to, you want to, you need to know how to make a balance sheet. Second semester, I have communications, which is my 20 credit module, big module, 70% exam, 30% coursework. I don't know, I have no idea what it will be about, but it's, I know it's microwave communications. So I had normal comms in my second year. Yes, microwave communications, we'll find out. I also have machine learning model, models, machine learning models for IoT systems. 10 credit module, 100% coursework. I have no idea what to expect because I'm doing a machine learning project right now in deep learning specifically. And it's extremely difficult. There is so much theory, so much mathematics involved. And I have no idea how they are going to squeeze machine learning, applying machine learning models to IoT systems in 10 credits. For electrical engineers, this, is not, this isn't even computer science. This is why I'm so fascinated and worried about this uh, but this is a new module so also question question mark question mark and my final module is also it's an embedded module it's cyber security for embedded systems also 100 percent coursework also completely new never been taught i don't know why my course has changed so much but it is what it is that's exactly what i'm doing right now in my life uh, and then the final thing is basically anything extracurricular so there's two main things that i am able to do this year uh, because of my timetable and at least for my first semester is that my Friday is free luckily so I get to do my French lessons and I get to do my driving lessons yuppie I'm happy about that because I've always wanted to learn French I have loads of French friends so the engineering department is paying for my university because they kind of they, they kind of feel bad because all we do is engineering most other students get to pick modules from other other disciplines and yeah us engineers at Loughborough University there's one road we we barely get to even pick things for optional modules within our courses I had the option between two modules in my final year my first semester and then two more two modules in my second so I there was a common there was there was so little choice it's unbelievable even in my final year so please make sure that because that's something that really frustrated me this year but it is what it is that's everything for this video let me just check my piece of paper that's everything <laughs>